Welcome to the channel. This video is going to go over the SIA coin and it's going to be an update to the Antminer A3 that I posted about a couple weeks ago, maybe a month ago. As you know, or maybe you don't know, Bitmain released the SIA coin, the Antminer A3. There's a video posted on that a while back. If you want to look through my videos, you can find that. But the difficulty shot really high really really quick so everyone was thinking that the difficulty is going to go too high and then the profitability of these miners are just going to drop through the floor and be not profitable so it's interesting because this video is going to go over what happened with the difficulty how's the miner doing and actually what is the sia coin so let's get into it okay so the miner's doing great still actually it's doing really well it's mining around 800 giga hash um, the difficulty did shoot up. The hash rate also shot up. If you look at this chart, when the miners were released in the beginning of January or the end of January, the difficulty just shot through the roof way up. And then as the difficulty goes up, you generate less coins. And then all of a sudden the difficulty started dropping. And I was wondering, like, what the heck is happening? Why is the difficulty dropping down so low? I thought they did a soft work or something to change it. But actually what it is is a correction because they want to keep the block time around 10 minutes this is how the difficulty shot up it was around 36 minutes for a block and then it bounced back around and now it's bouncing back around 9 10 and it's going to be it's going to equal out at 10. they want to keep the block time at 10 so that's an interesting thing i didn't know about the sia coin and it really made this miner a really great miner for the foreseeable future um, right now, the Chinese Spring Festival is going on, so everyone took the month off in China, so there's nothing happening really in China. Once the Spring Festival is over, in the beginning of March sometime, you're going to see a lot of news coming from China when people get back to work. So for the next two weeks, I'm not expecting this to change much, but in about three weeks' time, I expect to hear some new news about some new Bitcoin miners. I'm hoping maybe a new Litecoin miner. Okay, so you're probably wondering if you should buy one of these right now. And if you go to Bitmain and you go to the um, Antminer page at the top, make sure you go to the right web page. I'll put a link in the description also because there is a scammer going around where they create fake domains. They just change the domain name with a certain certain character that doesn't match exactly, but they make it look like it's the official web page and they collect money from you. So be careful of the web pages you go to and especially when you're given credit card information or any private key information or seeds or anything like that just be really careful you're going to the official source of the product so anyways the bitmain they also have the ant miner v9 4 terahash miner which is pretty much like a s7 maybe they're trying to get rid of some old units or something i don't see them creating this as a new product unless they have a bunch of parts where they want to sell off to get ready for a new inventory maybe um, they're still selling the l3 they have the s9 available for sale and the a3 still available for sale the a3 is at 980 right now which is a really good price if you had the a3 the return on investment if you get it today would be less than a month so that's really good but this is not shipping till march 15th so once these start shipping, the difficulty is really going to change, I would say. Currently, it's been staying pretty steady. But once this new batch of miners gets released, then that's going to change, you know, and lower the profitability. But it looks like it's still going to be profitable for some time. So I would say, yes, that is a good miner to purchase right now if you can get it. This miner is doing really well, actually generating about 1600 Sia coins a day, which is around forty dollars a day right now at the price that Sia coin is, and you know it can't. That's really good. It's doing better than Bitcoin or the Litecoin miners. So now let's look at what the Sia coin is. The Sia coin is actually a cloud storage. It's a decentralized cloud storage network. So what you do with the wallet, once you have the wallet. You can upload files to it, like a, kind of like a Dropbox or something like that. So you upload files to C and you can s store them securely on a decentralized network, which is very cool. And then you can also make money back by hosting files on your computer. So if you have some free hard drive space on your computer, you can use the CIA wallet to 
sell some bandwidth and storage space on your computer through the Sia wallet. So that's how it works. Some people sell space and some people save files on there and you just help them save the files. It'll save little bits of each file so you're not gonna be able to open the file and read it, but it will have some data on your file and you have to designate how much of hard drive space you wanna use. So that's pretty cool. I can see that as a good utility that we need and I like the coin and I like the project. So I expect this to do well in the future, especially as it catches on and becomes more popular. That's pretty much the Sia coin in a nutshell. If you have any questions, let me know. Just wanted to do a quick update on the A3. If you have any info that you'd like to share that I, I skipped or missed, let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace.